Hey guys, Jarek here and Komodos here for some more Halo 4. Gonna be using the Asari Full on a free-for-all map. They brought back the regular Rumble Pit playlist. Uh, I think they brought this back a long time ago. Thank God, because I really fucking hate Regicide. I don't like how it's point-based. It can... Every single time I played Regicide, I ended up losing when I had the most amount of kills in the game. And that really shouldn't happen. It should just be first to 30 kills wins. The way it's always been, and that's the way it always should be. I, yeah. I, I don't understand the point of Regicide. I don't know, it's them trying something new, and that's cool if you like it, more power to you, but make it its entirely different playlist and have regular free-for-all. That's like a standard when it comes to Halo, you have to have that. That's always what I've been best at that's been there since Halo 1, that's what I've enjoyed a lot. So that's what I want. Although to be fair, I do think Halo 4 works better with Team Deathmatch. I'm honestly not a big fan of free-for-all in Halo 4. Mainly because, for some reason, the combination of Promethean Vision, Battle Rifle, and Bolt Shot comes out of nowhere, and that Bolt Shot will ruin games because everybody fucking uses it. it. You can't melee anyone, it totally negates meleeing. And the only way I can see them balancing in the Bolt Shot is to make it so that you can't carry it as a secondary. You'll, the only secondaries you should be allowed to carry are either the Plasma Pistol or the Magnum, and have it be an ordnance drop. Because fuck that thing. <laughs> it's a power weapon. You kill them one hit, and if you don't kill them one hit, they just pull out the Battle Rifle and kill you anyway. So there's no other way to look at it. It is a power weapon. I can't say much on that because it's literally been forever. I think I like it that way too. But what's funny is they actually nerfed it. It made it not as bad, it has less range, but that just created a new problem of they'd shoot you and drain your shields and then just pull the battle rifle out and kill you just as quick anyway. Hmm. Or almost just as quick, I should say. So yeah, it's uh... I hate the thing. That's all I need to say. Fuck that thing. Like, the only reason I even have any of them in my loadouts is to counterbalance. Like, if someone's using the bolt shot, you can't do anything but use it yourself. Like, you really can't fight it. So, uh, it's obviously been a while since I've played this game. Why did you just have, like, blood or jam or whatever in your uh, eyes? Dan <laughs> what is this, Call of Duty? <laughs> um, I had a damage boost. Ah, okay. That damage boost, holy shit. Like, you... When you see someone else with a damage boost, you do not want to go face-to-face -to -face with them. You want to make sure you get behind them. Because they fuck your shit up. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I don't know what I said there, but let's just keep going. <laughs> uh, so questions. This question gets asked a lot. What's my computer build? Uh, it's something I probably should answer. I'm actually entirely confused and perplexed as to why people want to know. I don't see why it's important. This may be the wrong game to be playing to talk about this, since it is, you know, a console-only game. But, um... Yeah, I'm kind of confused as to why people even want to know, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyway. So my processor is an Intel i7-3820, it runs off the 2011 socket, my motherboard is an MSI uh, 2011 socket motherboard, I don't know the actual product number for it, but whatever, the only thing, fucking bolt shot, fuck you. <laughs> uh, the only thing you need to know is it does have USB 3.0 and it's um, a reliable motherboard. Uh, I have 16 gigabytes of Patriot Viper RAM at clocked at 1866. You stole my kill, and now you kill me. Fuck you. <laughs> it's really hard to talk while you're looking at video games. Uh, my video card is an NVIDIA MSI 670 OC edition, overclocked to about a 680. My my hard drives are the only thing I could possibly upgrade. I could get an SSD. I'm kind of holding off right now because I don't want to spend money. Uh, I want to get an Intel 520 SSD. That's what I want to get, but as of right now, I'm running on two Velociraptors and RAID, which, you know, that's not bad. The, an SSD is obviously a lot faster, but it's not bad. I can deal with that. Uh, I have an extra secondary hard drive of just one Velociraptor. That's the one I record everything to. It's a 300 gigabyte Velociraptor. And that one's fast enough to record in 720 with the extra without seeing any lag. It'll record at 40 frames to 60 frames, perfectly fine. And then I basically just have, just have two storage drives, one 750 gig, one's a terabyte. And my sound card is a Recon 3D Sound Blaster. And I love the sound card. I use it for virtually everything. I use it for when I'm console gaming. Uh, I actually have my console running, the line in running through my sound card so I can hear it in my PC sound setup. So yeah, you could say I put a decent amount of money into it. Something else I kind of want to mention is I went completely overboard with my PC because my job is based around video editing and video games and stuff like that. So I kind of need an overdone computer. But I'm entirely confused as to where the misconception comes from that PCs are incredibly expensive and you can't get into PC gaming because it costs too much. Also, I failed really hard at that binary rifle. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, chime in here. I honestly used to think just like that. I thought that, you know, oh, I'll never be able to get into PC gaming because it's so expensive. 
you know, consoles are the way to go. That's how I'm gonna. And then, you know, you and Ars and Scruff came along, and you guys started showing me, you know, games on Steam that I could never play with my uh, old crappy computer. And I got determined to build one myself. Now, uh, I my computer is nowhere as good as his. It's decent, uh, but I want to say I paid just a little bit under, if not, you know, slightly more than like a thousand altogether for my computer. And your computer is way above what you really need to play on PC. Like your computer is enough to handle games at the very least on high settings. It will max out most games. Um, I mean, it's a 660 Ti. I think you have like what eight gigabytes of RAM in it. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's not bad to say the least. It has a later i5. Didn't you go 3550K? Uh, 3570. Yeah. So it's that's not a necessarily a cheap processor, and it's uh, it's definitely going to be able to max games out. Point being, uh, these are really high end PCs, and you don't need. Did you just throw a grenade at yourself? <laughs> I tried to bank it off the wall because I thought he was going to run around the corner. Um, but you don't need to go all out with PC gaming. Like, you can buy a computer and build a computer for $400, $500 that will play most games at either high settings or medium settings. And then that leaves you the ability in the future to upgrade if you run across some more money and stuff like that. You don't have to go all out and spend like $2,000, which is way over what you'd ever need to do. Sorry, a reason. You know who I'm talking about just came to mind when you said $2,000 for a Oh, oh, right. We have uh, a friend that likes uh, Max Aww. quite a lot. Hello, Ouch. Assassination. We have a friend that likes Max a lot, and uh, misconceptions come out of everywhere when people use Max, because, let's just be honest, Apple advertises towards computards that don't know what they're doing when it comes to computers, so... Oh, that's a real gun. I thought it was a shotgun of some sort. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to use it. Kind of got fucked. So yeah, PCs are not expensive. I can guarantee you, um, I pretty much have every single current gen console I've bought and almost every single console released. I had a GameCube, I had an Xbox, I had a PS2, I had a PS3, I sold it a while ago because this was at the time when PS3 had no games. I have a 360, I have spent a lot more money on consoles than my PC with how overdone my computer is, especially with how cheap games on PC can be. So it's not that expensive, it really is not. And if you have money to buy an Xbox One at launch, you have money to get into PC gaming. 